Controlling invasive cattail and phragmites is a never-ending job at Kansas marshland habitats like Cheyenne Bottoms Wildlife Area. Area manager Carl Grover and staff have done an impressive job in recent years eliminating these plants, thanks in part to dry conditions that allowed intensive mechanical control. Also, improved water control structures have improved vegetation management efforts, even during a major flood that lasted for most of a recent summer. But the battle is always on, and this year 1,300 acres have already been burned to allow heavy disking required to kill cattail. This week, another 300 acres were burned off in Pool 2 so that the tall, dead vegetation does not interfere with mechanical groundwork. Disking will begin next week and last summer long. Aside from the importance of this management work, the burn in Pool 2 provided a look at a rare fire phenomenon, fire tornadoes. These funnels, sometimes called fire whirls, fire devils, or fire nados, are spectacular to see. They form only in certain weather conditions, and at least half a dozen of them broke out during the Cheyenne Bottoms burn. Fire tornadoes form and act much like their stormy cousins. The dynamic is different only in this. The fire's intense heat creates the energy differential. Heat causes a sudden and intense updraft, and air rushes in from all directions to replace the loss at the updraft base. In stable air, the heat and smoke simply rise vertically and dissipate. But as with real tornadoes, when the updraft encounters shearing winds, the column tries to spin. Layers of wind moving in different directions are the cause of this. Once rotation is started, it tends to intensify and spin into a vortex. This is not an easy process, and many vortices die before they become a tornado. But when everything's right, the classic rope develops. Fire tornadoes are usually less than 150 feet tall and may last only a few seconds. But one of these at Cheyenne Bottoms grew to around a thousand feet high and lasted for several minutes. At the ground, fire spun into the winds whirling at more than 100 miles per hour. That produced the true fire nado. Flames are quickly choked out in this heavy smoke. Mostly, the funnels carried soot and ash high into the air. The burn at Cheyenne Bottoms was never in danger of escape. All precautions, including disked fire breaks, were in place, and the vast cattail areas were bordered by both roadways and water pools. Workers talked constantly by radio about the fire's progress. But it was an impressive burn visible for 30 miles, and it showed a rare side of Kansas weather, even as it improved this important Kansas wetland. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.